Hey guys, welcome back to another review. So today we are doing a clothes haul. First we got some Civil Regime. And this was on the Friday the 13th collection. So let's see this. Alright, so yeah, this is a double XL. It's Freddy versus Jason. So that's like the front cover of the Freddy versus Jason movie. And then there's the back. Yeah, pretty cool. I was really, uh, really wanting this shirt just because I saw the movie when I was way younger. <laughs> Probably like around nine or eight years old. This neck part is pretty tight, which I like the color like that. Um, the shirt itself is a thin material um, compared to the shirt I was just wearing, that green shirt. So let's check out this shirt. It has a lace at the bottom, not lace, but a stitched. So it's like a little bit thicker at the bottom. Um, this one has something similar, but the shirt itself is softer and it's more thin. That shirt's thicker and then this one's, yeah, probably thinner, I would say. Um, there is a gray type of wash at the bottom and also on the collar. Yeah, I'm digging the shirt. It's, uh, it's probably something I would wear, like just hanging out, maybe working out or something but uh the back's pretty cool too has the flames yeah i'm digging it so let's go ahead and get on the next shirt and see what's up so we actually do have a jacket that goes with this uh friday the 13th kind of drop so this jacket didn't just drop on Friday the 13th, um, it also dropped during the Joker collab. And uh, if you guys didn't see that last video, I did a clothing haul um, of the Joker collab. So there's a lot of cool stuff in that video talking about free jackets that you're able to earn. But let's go ahead and check out this jacket right now. So this is a rose from Concrete jacket right so you could tell because it has all the roses on the side so it's still that collection but the cool thing I could tell already is that this jacket is as thick as most of the jackets that I've gotten from them so it seems oversized size I haven't put it on but it's definitely thicker than um, the last Joker drop that had those rose jackets those were pretty thin and stretchy. This one's thick and like tight fabric. So it seems like super high quality. Um, yeah, so let's get this on right now. Check it out. Okay, so this is with the jacket on. Um, with also the shirt that I just reviewed. That Jason and Freddy shirt, it's not super oversized. It's like, it's oversized, but it's not a, it's not that, uh, bulky and that baggy it's actually more more of a tighter shirt so it doesn't come out of the jacket as much if that's what you're looking for but yeah it's pretty cool this jacket i'm gonna put on an outfit that i would normally wear probably with this jacket so yeah i'd possibly uh wear an outfit like this you know have the oversized tee coming out the jacket some contrast with the white match the lettering and just some blue pants throw the colors off a little bit maybe some black or red shoes and you could also switch it up with some black pants so since with the black pants possibly you could wear white shoes to match with the white and also i have some red and black nike dunks but yeah this one's thicker than the champion jackets and it's also thicker than that last rose jacket that i got Fix that. Cool. Check out the back. And also the hood. Cool. 
Cool. We're gonna go ahead and check out the next jacket right now. So see what this is up to. Yeah, so we got actually another rose jacket. So hopefully we can see um, if the quality is the same as that last rose jacket that I got, or could be the same as this jacket right here. So we could compare them right now and I could show you guys kind of the difference between the materials. So let's see. Yeah, it is kind of like that last material. So, um, yeah, let's check it out. So yeah, it has embroidery right here on the, s the sleeves towards the cuffs of where your, your arms come out of. And then there's also embroidery on the hood. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, then it just says civil right here in black. The last rose one has civil and white, but obviously since this jacket's like creamish white, I had to put black for the logo. And these, this jacket that I have on right now is different roses in a different like pattern than this one. So this one is one huge rose that's on fire. And then compared to these, these are like roses with leaves. And yeah, so let's try this one on and we'll get right to it. So this is that whitish cream uh, rose jacket on. And uh, let's see what the name is for it. This is Forever Rose Snap Hoodie in butter. So that's the color, butter. And yeah, so it's not completely white. It's like a cream. And like it says, more like a butter type of uh, off-white. Yeah, this jacket's really cool. So this it's weird it's uh it actually feels the same as a uh, this red jacket right so this red jacket that we just put on feels as thick as that jacket but it has the stretchiness to this last jacket that i did in the past video so it's to explain to really explain it it's stretchy right here stretchy on the cuffs and the whole jacket is thick so I would say it's a combination of like their thick oversized jackets and their thin um, stretchy cuffed jackets which is pretty cool I actually really like this jacket compared to the rose ones the fallen rose jackets on the the joker drop so and I actually really like this color this color is dope it's a white but off-white butter, so you can mix this color with a lot of different uh, different outfits. And then we'll switch up the pants just so you guys can see a different outfit. Yeah, so this is with uh, just some blue pants, some moto pants, and I just have that black under tee just to come out to match the logo. And then you could probably wear some black 350 onyx 500 or you could probably you can match this jacket with a lot of things if you're worried about matching the color cool and let's go ahead and get with the next video for the next shirt clothing product um we actually are going to start reviewing the uh, fear of god essentials stuff now so this is the fear of god shorts and let's see i know what it says on here yeah so this colorway is called sand so we got the shorts right here and we have a matching jacket so i'm probably just going to review both of those together so you guys can get the whole outfit what it looks like and then also if you can't see it says essentials right there 
and let's go ahead and look at the jacket. Yeah, and then these colors are just supposed to match the essentials, shorts, and the jacket. So it's plain on the back, and then it has the essential logo on the front. And if you didn't see on the shorts, it also has this on the hoodie, the top of the hoodie. So that's like the same thing with right here. Has those on the shorts. Cool. Yeah, so we're gonna put those on right now so you guys can check them out. This is what the jacket and the shorts look like together. And, you know, with some slides. Perfect match, some long white socks. Yeah, really liking this combination. I always like shorts and a jacket because it's kind of like hot up here. But then the shorts just make it so you're not too hot. And even if it's cold, it's like you got a breeze with the shorts and the jacket. Just threw on a white oversized tee. To match with some uh, socks. Yeah, I would wear these with sneakers and even uh, the slides would be perfect. And let's see what the hood looks like. Cool. And then, so the shorts, like the last essential shorts I got, they go to the knee. So it's not mid thigh shorts. Um, I don't usually like getting shorts unless they go to the knee. Uh, anything above the knee is not really something I, I dig. It's not my style. But if they're really cool shorts, sometimes I'll, I'll deal with it. Yeah, so this jacket is super thick. It's a it's similar thickness to Civil. Um, these jackets, though, the texture feels a little different. Um, these do feel not more soft, just a a kind of softer fabric in a way. Um, it's the same amount, probably as durable, but I'm not sure how many how much stitching this is to know what the count is to uh, see how thick this actually is. Oh, uh, check that out, probably put it in the description. The shorts are as thick as the jacket, if you're wondering. They're not, uh, they're not super loose. They're kind of thick. Um, over time, if it was hot outside, I'm sure you'd probably start sweating in these shorts. Side pocket, pouch. And the cuffs on the jacket on this one is less stretchy. It's more thick. It's not like an elastic band. Same as the bottom. The bottom is more thick and it's not like a elastic. Yeah, so it's not much more to say good about this, uh, this outfit. Let's go on to the next one. And I actually did forget to review this shirt. So when I was getting the white rose jacket, the, the butter one, that jacket, I was trying to get multiple other shirts. Um, I actually had like seven or eight um, shirts inside my cart. But by the time when I went to the end to buy the stuff, it actually was all sold out. So um, I hopped on the website the second it drops, I, I sit on the website for a while, like 30 minutes beforehand. And then once it does drop, I usually uh, wait and load it. And then right when it hit, it said you only had like 30 seconds to kind of pick what you wanted. And then after that, uh, I think that's when stuff started selling out pretty quick. So this was one of the shirts that I did grab. This shirt, surprisingly, I wasn't gonna grab the shirt, and then when one shirt said it was sold out, 
I went back out of the cart just to grab the shirt and then when I went into the cart everything else sold out so yeah I got this shirt and that butter jacket on that drop day so yeah let's try this one on and see how it is yeah, this is how the shirt looks on uh, when I did put it on I actually put it on backwards because I'm more used to the civil sign on your back so Instead, it has a rose, I think, on the back. Oh yeah, it's just the, the chest, the back plates, and your ribs. This shirt's okay. Um, I could say that I thought it was gonna be more oversized. It's not as oversized as I thought. Just like the Jason vs. Freddy shirt, it's more tighter and slimmer. And also has like the same type of fabric, it's thin. Not a bad shirt, um, just like the last shirt, I'd probably use this to work out in, just because how thin it is. Yeah, decent. Let's put on some other pants so you can see a different outfit. Yeah, I do like these a little bit more with cargo pants. Um, it definitely feels like more like this thinner shirts goes better with this instead of skinnier jeans. But yeah, I'm digging the shirt um, with the cargo pants more. But I'm sure if I have some black shorts to wear to the gym, this shirt will look cool. We're gonna go right ahead and get into the next brand. But I have a bunch more of their clothes to review right now. So, I'm gonna check those out and let's get to it. <clears throat> so yeah, let's get right into this. So it's, remember, Dark Sports. And uh, you can see even through the bag, their logo is a wolf. And we're gonna open this up right now so you guys can see it better. So yeah, this company is actually a um, co-company with Sybil. Um, so they, surprisingly, they don't package their bags in these thick bags that you could zip up and put stuff in. So I like these bags because they're recyclable, but you could also put stuff in these bags because they have zippers. But uh, they just give you this type of plastic and I think this one is recyclable plastic so this is a Norse camo shorts so yeah this company has a lot to do with uh, bodybuilding and just getting the perfect physique so the company represents, has a big representation on staying healthy and working out. So these are the shorts, the camo shorts. They're super thick, um, not thick, kind of like, not like a blanket thick, but it's like two pairs of gym shorts, kind of like sewed together. That's how it feels. Um, it's that like plasticky, smooth, uh, shiny feel that you get from like gym class. And then these strings, they're not too thick. They're pretty thin, just wide. Um, they don't go above the knee too much, which is good, even when you're uh, moving. Yeah, and this camo is pretty cool too. It's like tiger camo. So there's the wolf right there. S-S-D-D-N-F-G-U. And then it has a saying right here too. So yeah, um, let's uh, get one of these shirts on from Dark Sports. Let's check this one on right here. Cool. So yeah, this is like a workout tee. Um, 
it has the sleeves kind of cut, but not all the way down the side. So here's the front. And there's the back. So yeah, I thought it was pretty cool with the purple, uh, the wolf right there. So let's actually try this on real quick. So we can see what it looks like. So yeah, so this shirt is super airy. And it's super uh, wide on the sleeves so that you could work out and not feel so uncomfortable. Yeah, I'm really digging this for working out. Usually, I just buy t-shirts and I'll cut the sleeves so that uh, you could get that type of look. But it's pretty dope that they uh, made a t-shirt like this. And obviously, you can see the, the dumbbell and stuff. Most of these clothes are for working out. They're from a bodybuilder uh, and meant for bodybuilding. Obviously, you could wear these clothes anywhere. You could wear them to the beach, just uh, casually too. But uh, I really like this company and what they stand for and how they, uh, they represent a certain mindset. Yeah, so, I mean, I work out time to time. I have a gym in my house. Um, I just haven't, you know, had gotten to it. So soon we're gonna actually start, uh, possibly if you guys want to see videos of me uh, working out and changing my physique. So over time, I'm probably gonna start posting stuff on Instagram so you guys can check that out. But yeah, let's go ahead and get right back into more of Dark Sports. Because we actually have another shirt and we have some more shorts. Alright, so yeah, let's check this shirt out. Okay, so yeah, it's just like a... So this is a, a tank top. It's called the Covered Panel Tank Black. So yeah, the side has the wolves and the front says wolves. Cool. So I'm gonna try that on after uh, we check out these shorts so we're gonna check out these shorts and then put the shirt and the shorts together so let's see what this one is compression shorts oh cool heck yeah so these are super thin yeah these are definitely for working out these are for working out but you could also casually wear these these are in particularly just we're working out so it has the compression shorts inside and I really like these because when you're working out um, sometimes the shorts like to slide all the way down and if you have the compression shorts you know nothing uh, is falling out or slipping out you are secure so let's get these both on right now and then we can check them out do a review so yeah, dude, I'm digging these compression shorts. Um, you can't go wrong with these compression shorts. Honestly, I've never had a pair of compression shorts that are this comfortable. So if you're looking for some workout shorts, these are the perfect, perfect workout shorts. Even to go running in these, perfect. Um, the T, the tank, I like the tank, the tank's cool. Definitely the sides and everything. Um, I think for me, I like to usually get a little bit more bulkier uh, when wearing tanks. So, like I said, I'm gonna start doing a uh, a workout a vlog 
if you guys want to check that out. So possibly um, soon, I'm gonna start making more videos in the garage and showing uh, some workout routines. Yeah, just mostly for myself and if anybody else wants to uh, join, we could uh, try and do it all together, you know? So yeah, this is the tank. Pretty cool. Dark Sport is made by bodybuilders, for bodybuilders. And for anybody that wants to get in that mindset um, to help your physique, and become as healthy as a person as you can. So yeah, this uh, definitely something I'm gonna be wearing at the gym. And all, all I can say is the compression shorts, it feels extremely comfortable. Um, it doesn't feel too tight and I still have a lot of room. So like the junk space, there's still a lot of room. There's not a, it's not like completely suffocating. And then the T, as you can see, this is how long the T is on each side. Yeah, so I'm digging these shorts, super cool. And the tank, probably gonna wear it, um, you know, in my, my gym. But uh, the more bulkier I get, the more these, these tanks, you know, start to look better, so. We're gonna get right into showing everything again and going back to the first jacket that we reviewed today. We're gonna just go ahead and do a recap on everything we reviewed today. Um, I just put this shirt on because I wanted to see how it would look with these shorts too. Um, and also, we're gonna go from the start to end. So we started with the Jason and Freddie shirt. Remember, the shirt's pretty thin. Um, it's not over, that oversized. It's a breathable, um, thin, simple shirt. So, like this shirt, just not the same as most of the shirts I'm used to at Silva. Uh, definitely thinner fabric. So, this one is the rose hoodie. Um, obviously, we did this one third, I'm pretty sure. But, this is the roses on the sides. And then the roses on the hood. Also, I don't know if I talked about this, there's a snap button for the front of the hood, just to close it up a little. And last thing, civil regime. Um, this was the second jacket. And this was the other rose hoodie but it's a different one, right? So this one has the leaves coming off the black roses, tie-dye jacket, civil regime right here, white lettering. Back doesn't have anything, but the hood has the all the roses and all the embroidery. And then also a cool touch, the strings are tie-dyed, so. Um, this jacket is thicker than all the other silver jackets I reviewed today. And I actually really like these type of jackets. They're thick, they're not as stretchy, they're very durable, and probably one of my favorite jackets that I have right now for civil. Here we got the Fear of God Essentials collection. It says Fear, uh, Essentials right here, Fear of God. Back plain. Hood. The top has that uh that rubber. It says essentials for your god right there. And then the pouch is just side pockets. This jacket thicker than the silver jacket, heavier, um, a little bit softer. They're very similar in quality. High quality jackets. But yeah, I would say that this one is a little bit tighter on your neck, but wide on the chest. So this is really oversized. I really like uh, the Essentials clothing brand right now. So Fear of God's coming out with Essentials. 
and they've been mid matching a lot of the clothes with the shorts or the sweats that come with the jacket. So it says essentials right here has that little rubber piece that was on the hood and they're stretching at the top. Really enjoy these. Um, this is a large, so I've been wearing XL more often. So the shorts I'm wearing right now, these are XL. Uh, just to recap on all sizes. So all sizes for all these shirts are double XL. So every shirt, double XL. Every jacket, double XL. These shorts are large, but all the other shorts, double XL. Or uh, not double XL, sorry. All the other shorts just XL. The shorts only. Um, this is the only shorts that I got that was large. So just letting you know on that. And the shorts, thick, long string. Um, so you have to kind of tie these because how long the string is. Yeah, I dig those a lot. Definitely that outfit together. And we're going to this shirt. Um, this shirt's very stretchy. It's like the Freddy and Jason shirt. So, reminding you, it's stretchy and thin. This one's a little bit more oversized. It's not as tight on you. Like on your, your body's not as tight. But it's still pretty tight for a shirt. So, and even if you stretch it, like I'm stretching it right now, I can almost see through the shirt so that's how thin this shirt is but if you're looking for a thin shirt that's not gonna sweat make you sweat too much then that might be the shirt for you um, and then we just had this tee on and it has wolves on the side and then has wolf on the front so that's just like the logo um, that they stand by representing their company. And last of all, we got the shorts. So these are those camo shorts and probably some of my favorite shorts that I have for casual. Um, I'm gonna be wearing these to the gym and also uh, just casually wearing these. But everything I have on right now, probably either the beach and runs and the gym, so yeah. So that was everything. How'd you guys like it? Um, I really do like this outfit in particular. Um, I'm super hyped to start working out in this stuff. And I think I'm definitely gonna start buying more clothes from Dark Sports in the description. So you guys can go straight to their website. Uh, remember, Civil Regime, and I'm not sure completely with Dark Sports, but I know Civil Regime, their website might look down but it only looks like that when they're doing drops. So when they're doing drops, they shut down the website until they give everybody the date when the website's gonna be back up with new clothes. So just letting you guys know that so you guys don't get worried in thinking that this company, um, the website's not showing any clothes or um, letting you guys shop and see what else is coming up. But yeah, always check out their Instagram. They're always gonna be posting new stuff. Uh, Dark Sports Instagram and Civil Regime's Instagram. Always, always posting new stuff. And also the Fear of God and Essentials. Um, I'll put his Instagram in there too. So you go see their, uh, their page and their website. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video and you guys have any more questions, just put them down in the comments. I'll try and answer all your guys' questions. Um, also, the cool thing is, there's just one little thing. The civil regime, when you did buy all the Rose collection stuff, they do give you all these stickers. So that's kind of cool. Each, each shirt, I got a sticker with it. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a great rest of your guys' day. If you like the video, hit a like. And if you want to see more videos of me doing reviews on clothing hauls, and even sneakers if you haven't seen my other videos um just subscribe you know so we could keep growing this channel and we could see how much uh how much i could help everybody and anybody that wants to know what size or 
what clothing or what shoe size you should be able to uh, to get. Yeah, so that's mostly why I'm doing this channel because I just want to help people out and know uh, what's the best shoe size when you're buying expensive shoes and what's the best uh, size for you for clothing. Because I know all these companies I've been mostly reviewing are companies that are final sale. So majority of these shirts, these jackets are all final sale. You buy them, you can't return them. So just so you guys know that. And um, yeah, so have a great rest of your guys' day and come back and watch more. Thank you. See ya. And just letting you know, the next video I should be posting is going to be a new pair of shoes, um, some Jordan 3s. And you guys are going to be really surprised on the colorway that we got. So stay tuned. Um, it is. It was a Nike drop um, on the app, on the confirmed app. And we hit. So go check out that new video coming up. And thank you. Subscribe. Hadouken!